What's up, everybody? Sports Live and ATL David. For those of you who are living under a rock or who don't know uh, about stuff on TV, that is the Game of Thrones theme. Uh, done so eloquently and awesomely by myself. Um, I'm going to do a review of Episode 4, Season 8. So if you have not watched it yet and it's already Tuesday, then you're slipping. Okay, but I'm going to give my review. There are two more episodes left before the season, the final season of Game of Thrones. Uh, if there's one series that I would go back and watch certain episodes throughout my time, will, will be Game of Thrones. I love it. Uh, but this is my thoughts on um, Episode 4. Spoiler, so make sure if you, if you don't want to know what it is, just I'm going to title it for you. So no excuses. Uh, first off, I will say at the end of the episode three, the Night King was killed by Arya. Fine. She came out of nowhere. So that, that, that was kind of surprising because I actually expected the Night King to take over at the end. And I still think it could happen. I, I, you know, in any kind of... Mem, mem, God damn, came and get it out. I feel like Nitro Freak on that one mythological fantasy whatever anything's possible if you got guys that are getting killed and coming back 19 times and john snoo got killed and came back and then the uh, red lady with the red the lady with the red thing you know riding hood she had a neck necklace that kept her alive for hundreds of years or whatever anything's possible dragons dead people coming back to life i mean it's possible but for what's totally different it's weird without the Night King in it, and they kind of mentioned it a few times in the episode, but they quickly kind of got away from it. The build-up. Uh, I, 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 the show in episode 4, season 8, you know, everybody's leaving uh, Winterfell and uh, going their own way, basically, and you wonder if they're going to meet up again. You know, now the show is pretty much based on Cersei and Daenerys Targaryen and um, uh, Arya and Sansa. Damn, she's fine, too. Uh, that's in John Snow. That's pretty much what it is now. And Tyrion and Jamie Lannister and all that. Uh, a lot, uh, I think it was about halfway through that Cersei and her fine self got involved, showing her emotional side. Through you know, at, at the end of the show, and you know, you saw uh, the the wildling with the red hair want to get with the tall chick. Um, that didn't happen. And Jamie Lannister got with the tall chick a couple times sexually, and I knew it was going to happen as soon as I called. I knew, I mean, I knew that one. That was bound to happen. Um, so now he's left, and he's going to go over to uh, what King's Land? No, no, uh, wherever Cersei is, King's Landing, I think, and try to convince his sister, and I don't know what the hell you want to call sister, girlfriend, whatever. Uh, a dragon got killed by the pirates or whatever the hell his name was uh that was surprising um the girl at the end with her head chopped off the sexy chick who was involved with you know the afro and dating a, that fighter that was surprising you know Tyrion tried to uh, negotiate Cersei had a little soft side but then said screw it she's so power hungry even if she knows she's probably gonna lose i mean i don't know denarius targaryen's one pissed chick so, it'll be interesting to see what happens episode 5. Two more episodes left, and then it'll be over for good, which is sad. They got a prequel coming out that they're making. I know that, so I wonder how that's going to be. I don't think it's going to be anywhere close to uh, Game of Thrones, but, you know, I'll check it out the first couple episodes and see how it is. And maybe based on the, what, or, the origin of, of, of the crew, of the uh, cast, the, I mean, the characters and the Night Walkers or whatever. Maybe some of these guys will make cameo appearances and as other characters. I don't know. You know, because like I said, some of these guys have lived for hundreds of years, so maybe, who knows. Um, and the women, eye candy. The eye candy in Game of Thrones is unbelievable. I mean, I wish I could just jump through the TV screen back in those days and then just 
have a lot of sex with a lot of those women because a lot of those women, they're just like, here, take me. You know, that one chick who killed her brother, had like an orgy with four or five guards or something. I don't know. She was like, she was freaky, man. She was ready. She wanted to go all night. David's an all-nighter and a day, a skin span would say, all day. So I'd be like, damn, how, how, how much fun would it have been back in those days, right? Free love. But uh, that's my thoughts on Game of Thrones. It's different without the Night King and the White Walkers because winter has come and gone. But I still think winter could make a comeback at the end. Who knows? Anything is possible. All right, y'all. Sports Live and ATL David just wanted to address that.